Uh, this is where we see that verse about the keys of hell and of death. But reason number five, I believe Jesus Christ went to hell, is because Jesus Christ was dead. Look at what it says here in Revelation 1.18. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore, amen, and have the keys of hell and of death. So Jesus Christ died, right? He died, yes, physically, but he also had to die spiritually. Um, let's just keep, that, just keep that thought in mind. Let's look at another, a few others. Hebrews 2, verse 9. Look at this. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death. And then there's the suffering again, so that's why I believe that there was suffering. Oh, you could just say that's the physical suffering, I suppose. Suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. So Revelation 1.18 says that he was dead, now I'm alive forevermore, I have the keys. Hebrews 2.9 says he, 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 he was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, and that he tasted death for every man. But you might read those two verses and say, well, but Jesus Christ did die, right? The death, the burial, and the resurrection. <coughs> um, let me just show you this verse. John 11, 25. Jesus says here, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? So Jesus Christ is saying here that he, remember he, we, we read that Jesus Christ was dead. And we read that Jesus Christ tasted death for every man. But then we read here that who, whoever believes in Jesus Christ, um, whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die, believest thou this. So you see here that somebody that believes in Jesus Christ never actually dies. So if Jesus Christ only died physically, he only suffered physically, and then did not go to hell to suffer eternal death for us, then he didn't truly die, did he? Because Jesus is saying here as a believer, you know, all our bodies die because all of us are going to be separated from our body, but we don't truly die because the moment we breathe our last breath, our next breath is our soul in heaven living, you know, eternal life with Jesus Christ. So the soul must go to hell in order for somebody to experience death. And Jesus Christ did die. So he, we see that he was dead. We see that he uh, experienced the suffering death and taste death for every man. And then we read here that you must die spiritually to actually die. And that's why Jesus Christ had to die both physically and spiritually. So Jesus Christ suffered in spiritual death. So that's number five.